welcome to episode two of Women's Her Stories. Today, we're going to focus on famous Mexican painter Frida Kahlo. In her 47 years of her life, she impacted her country's art, culture, and the rest of society that she did not even realize was going to have an impact on. She painted self-portraits. She painted her truth, her suffering, her pain, her love, and her imagination has been unmatched since. She's famous for her flower crowns that she wore and painted, her bold red lipstick, her unabashed uh, bravery and courage to show her truth in her self-portraits, and also her famous unibrow. (laughs) Yes, so many of us have seen this in commercial products, or quite possibly the mustache that she uh, so proudly adorned her face with. So I hope that you learn more than just the brow and the stash story. Um, So thank you for joining me for episode two. Let's dive in. Numero uno, number one. He is the most world famous Mexican painter best known for her uncompromising and brilliantly colored self-portraits that portrayed themes of identity, human body, ancestry, and death. Let's take a look at a few. This portrait is literally one of her first portraits she did of herself. And really you can see, you know, the depth of her art. And this is incredible. This is all self-taught. She did not go to school to be an artist. She never studied under an artist. This was just her painting what she felt and what she saw. Notice how her art evolves over time. She's got this next image where you can see there's a little more depth and there's more vibrancy. There's even, you know, different elements added in here. We've got watercolor, pastels, pins. So really taking on a more bold um, and playful approach with her art. She just constantly tries new things. And this is a real evolution here. This is talking about um, her, her life with, you know, being a Mexican citizen and having spent time in the United States in Detroit with her husband as he was on some art commission there. And you can see, you know, she's really giving not just a self-portrait of, you know, her face and her body. It's more of an internal and external ancestry uh, lineage that she has here, which is a pretty um, incredible experience to know where she started um, and then where she ended up in her art. Fact number two, numero dos. Her mother was of Mexican indigenous ancestry and her father was a German immigrant. So she constantly felt this felt this pull to her Mexican roots, but also really liked to embrace her father's uh, German roots as well. In fact, the portrait on the left is what she painted of her father. And he was actually a photographer for the Mexican national government. So a bit of an artist himself. And fun fact we're going to embed in here is that really her name was Magdalena Carmen Frida Calo Calderon. But she really took that got that Frida part of her name, which was more German, um, and really embraced that as her identity. Here is a close-up of a painting that she made of her mother and her father. It is a, a very small element of a very large portrait that shows her, um, her family tree. And this is a very interesting family photograph here. Um, Can you spot Frida Kahlo? Yes. Notice she is um, playing around here with some gender identity, uh, fluidity, and really just living this bold um, life, even as a young child, where she felt that she always needed to, to identify with what made her feel good. And in this case, sometimes it was Uh, dressing up and annoying her mother (laughs) in a family portrait. Um, You see here her three sisters and her brother, um, a sibling photo here. So 
um, always a very bold leader. All right, fact number three, numero tres. We've got two images here on the screen. We've got a uh, painting on the left, kind of the sun and moon, this uh, little bit again of the raw emotion, um, some really intense depth feelings here about uh, suffering, some pain, medical situations you can see. And then on the right is a sketch of an accident that happened to her um, when she was a teenager. So at age six, she contracted polio, which made her right leg thinner and shorter than her left leg, hence why she wears skirts a lot. She was undiagnosed with spina bifida. At the time, the um, medical doctors could not diagnose that, but um, looking back at records, it's pretty, you know, pretty sure she had um, spina bifida. At the age of 18, Frida Gallo was injured in a bus accident, which sent a handrail through her back and out of her pelvis. Ouch. The, crush, um, the crash crushed her foot and dislocated her shoulder, her collarbone, two ribs, and one leg were broken. So if you can imagine any ounce of, if you've ever broken a bone, um, now increase that by you know so many and you can understand the pain that she was going through. This is a photograph of her in a wheelchair um, painting. And this is, um, you know, quite often at different points of her life, she was um, not fully able-bodied. She was either with a cast, um, you know, confined to a bed, oftentimes in a wheelchair. This is an incredible photograph, a little surreal um, also because it is a photograph of her in her wheelchair next to her doctor which is next to the painting she has, which is very similar to what they're actually showing. So uh, incredible uh, photography here. If you are able to visit her home in Coyacan, Mexico, you can see that um, her wheelchair is still um, there in her home and her easel is set up as well. One of the most incredible things about this story is, yes, the pain and suffering is terrible and horrible to imagine, but it's what she does with that pain and suffering. She doesn't let it stop her. She continues on to paint, whether she's lying in bed, whether she's in a wheelchair, she finds a way to express her creativity. She uses her time to showcase who she is and her life story. Now, the... Painting, the photograph that you see there is a uh, interesting photograph because it's got a cast, right? It's her body cast that she turns into a canvas. So no matter what, always finding something to paint. All right, number four, numero cuatro. You see her, a lovely photo on the right of her holding her pet monkey and even a portrait um, on the left of her with parrots. So of the 143 paintings, 55 are self-portraits which feature her treasured pets. Yes, she had all kinds of exciting pets. Her most beloved um, is the Mexican hairless dog, which is actually a descendant of Aztec dogs. Yeah, that actually lived during the Aztec Empire. She also um, really enjoyed, you know, uh, wildlife, right? A pet fawn. This um, deer does show up in um, a few of her paintings. And of course, her pet monkey, who was gifted to her by her husband. Number five, numero cinco. This is all about her relationship. You can see the photographs on the screen of her and her husband, uh, she married a very famous Mexican muralist, and so together they were an incredible power couple of artistry um, and creativity for Mexican culture. She was actually the third wife of this famous Mexican muralist, Diego Rivera, and they actually married, divorced, and remarried. And they lived in separate houses and did not have children together. So uh, if you can imagine what we've shared about um, Frida Kahlo and her bold her emotional, her creativity, and her, you know, the pain and suffering of her life, she would absolutely need to be able to share that experience with someone. And what better than an artist? 
This is a painting she has um, that she made of her and Diego on their wedding night. And in classic Frida Gallo fashion, she opted not to wear a white dress, but instead to wear um, an authentic Mexican style dress that also had the Mexican flag colors because she had an enormous pride for her Mexican identity. Pretty cool. Here is um, a picture of their home. If you're able to visit on the left side is, a free, is the uh, Diego Rivera home and studio. And on the right side in this bright, bold, blue, vibrant in your face is Frida Kahlo's home and studio. So what an incredible uh, image there to talk about these two artists and connecting the homes is one bridge. Well, I hope that you enjoyed learning about Frida Kahlo as we um, embraced today's episode two of Women's Her Stories. I hope that you can find some um, comfort and creativity in your life and a way to express your story through art, whether it be painting or drawing um, or even something digital. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode about Frida Kahlo. I am so happy you joined me today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and comment. 